Right, so good morning, ladies and gentlemen, and uh, welcome to uh, the Business and Professional English Program, the Open Day of Business and Professional English Program, the, the BPE program offered by Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. So I would like to welcome each and every one of you to uh, the Open Day. And of course, I would like to welcome our distinguished guests as well. So I'll be introducing them shortly. But uh, before starting off the proceedings, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to give you a brief introduction about uh, the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing and then, of course, about uh, this uh, BPE or the Business and Professional English uh, program as well. Now, the Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, ladies and gentlemen, is the apex body for Sri Lankan marketers, which was founded in 1970 and subsequently incorporated by an act of parliament in 1980, recognizing it as the national body for marketing and a non uh, not for profit organization as well. So we are mandated to uplift the marketing profession in Sri Lanka, providing marketing studies and conducting many national level events and projects as well. Now, moving on to our program that is uh, business and professional English program or the BPE program. Uh, now, we all know, ladies and gentlemen, the ability to communicate in English effectively and efficiently is an essential skill, not only for the marketers, but for many other professions. So even though there are a number of educational programs where you can learn English, you can't really learn English from those institutes, uh, especially with reference to marketing, with a marketing oriented uh, specialized uh, English program. So that is what we're offering here at uh, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing, ladies and gentlemen. So being the national body for marketing, SLIM always encourages and promotes uh, marketers to further enhance themselves as marketing professionals by designing this unique English program that helps to engage in business activities more efficiently and productively. Right, so uh, without taking any more time, ladies and gentlemen, I would like to move on with the, the proceedings of today's event. So uh, first of all, to officially welcome each and every one of you, I would like to invite one of our key personals from Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Now, she uh, holds 17 years of experience in advertising, insurance and education industries and 15 years in the managerial capacity with sales and marketing experience. With uh, many awards and accolades to accompany her years of experience, she now holds uh, the position of uh, Deputy General Manager Business Development at uh, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Mihirini Fonseca. Thank you, Oshada. Uh, hope I'm audible. Yes. Right, okay, thank you. So uh, once again, uh, good morning to uh, all of you. So um, officially, I would like to uh, welcome Today, uh, Ms. Uh, JB uh, Rochelle Mutumani uh, from Daras Learning and Development. Thank you very much, Rochelle. Uh, I know with a very uh, busy schedule today, right? Uh, so thank you very much for joining. Uh, and also Ms. Uh, Shanika Pereira Fonseca, our lecturer. Thank you very much again uh, for joining. And also Ms. Umesha uh, Bhogapitiya, junior executive. So that's uh, the lineup for the speeches, spe uh, speeches today. So those are the speakers, uh, uh, the guest, speak, uh, guest speech and the uh, lecturer's message, and again, the program brief. Uh, so before we move on, I would like to take you through a very short brief on what SLIM is, because today might be the first day that you might have uh, joined uh, SLIM. Uh, for programs, so I would I would take few minutes and uh, just go through a, a very short presentation. So you can see, uh, as uh, Oshada quite rightly mentioned, we are incorporated by an Parliament Act, right? Uh, and uh, our vision is to lead the nation's efforts towards economic prosperity, right? And also we are an institute uh, uh, which was in business for 54 years, so this is our 54th year. Right. And uh, you can see uh, other than the now today you have joined for the business and professional English program. Other than that, we have uh, several events. You might have seen them even on TV and you might have participated uh, like uh, Slim Brand Excellence. That's for the record. That's to recognize the brand's efforts of companies. Again, uh, People's Awards with Canta. We do a research and recognize different uh, uh, personalities, then songs, brands, 
right also for the sales people we have the national sales awards then uh, restart sri lanka was with the prime minister's office with the 50th anniversary we started also fees was for effectiveness of advertising and then slim digis was again uh, which we started in 2018 to recognize the digital efforts of companies and smeda is for small and medium entrepreneurs so this is actually our national level events because why i mentioned this is if anybody is even interested in maybe joining the committees you may do so because uh, this is not a institute only to do studies again these are the associations we have with prime minister's office and also we are a member of asia marketing federation with which consists of 17 countries also the employment federation opa fccisl national chamber of commerce and other than that uh, we are uh, affiliated with uh, several universities for mba right and uh, glendor exam also we uh, recently joined hand with uh, with uh, Uh, Gloucestershire Un uh, MB uh, University for the general MBA, also Emerald Publication, Credly, uh, CPD, then Digital Marketing Institute for our digital product products, and also we are one of the oldest study centers for CIM Chartered Institute of Marketing. So you can see the associations we have. Uh, so uh, other than the uh, uh, edu the business and professional English. Uh, uh we have uh, several other uh, education products on the portfolio so as uh, uh, i mentioned earlier also other than education we have a membership arm and also we have events then uh, we have uh, again uh, the trainings and the corporate solutions that is we do corporate uh, programs workshops and we bring down uh, uh, foreign speakers to uh, sri lanka Uh, and also we have a, a sustainability arm and also we have a research arm so likewise under slim umbrella uh, we have several uh, entities other than the education so in short we call it the uh, marketing mahagadar so um, other than the business and professional english program you can see we have other 18 education products we have the professional certificate in marketing in english sinhala and tamil and also we have online also then we have the post graduate diploma in marketing which is the flagship product of uh, slim right uh, which is known as the slim qualification and also we have the national diploma in sales management that is for mainly for the sales people then we have the brand management which is for the which is for the uh, people who are in branding uh, so this is actually a very interesting program with the live uh assignment we give them a brand to uh, launch right and practically they'll have to launch it and sell the product also we have pharmaceutical marketing services marketing uh, and other than that we have uh, digital products uh, a certificate in digital diploma in digital and uh, this is actually again uh, we have the dmi ireland right so that also you can uh, uh, get the the um, partnership with uh, slim and also data driven marketing uh, which we again uh, launched recently then uh, we have cim then uh, the business and professional english which you all have uh, joined today then entrepreneurial marketing certified professional marketing and we have two mbas uh, that is with glendor exam university we have the marketing special mba and with uh, gloucestershire university we have the uh general mba so that is actually the portfolio because once you finish the business and professional english uh, you can join the other programs as well right uh, like professional certificate in marketing also uh, national diploma in sales management or uh, post graduate so likewise you will be able to uh, join these programs as well so we have a very strong uh, membership base and we give certain membership uh, facilities facilities uh the membership at oval and also for some members we have given it at brc and we have a uh, toastmasters club that is for public speaking and the leadership skills and also we have several evening meetings networking nights uh, so likewise these are a few of the the facilities we give under uh, membership so uh, this is actually in short uh, a short brief on slim uh, what are the events what are the programs uh, what are the things basically we do under the slim umbrella 
so hope that all will finish this program successfully and also if you all wish to maybe join hands with other programs or maybe if you all are interested in doing uh, uh, any of other programs or maybe taking the membership uh, you might you you may be able to contact the slim officials and also we have a very uh, supportive uh, uh, lecture panel and also supportive uh, coordinators right and uh, you can talk to them so this is only a three months program so what i would uh, 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 tell is because uh, within these three months uh, get the maximum and whatever the support just talk to them and get the support uh, anyway what you might get certain challenges but uh, uh, don't stop the program you might you can talk to the coordinators or maybe even uh, some of you I might have uh, spoken to the business development team talk to them and get the support so hope you all will finish this successfully and hope to see you all in the other programs as well thank you very much over to you Shabir. thank you Ms. Mihirani thank you for welcoming our distinguished guests and of course our, our participants as well so uh, moving on with the proceedings, ladies and gentlemen, so next up we have uh, the guest speaker's uh, speech coming up. And in order to deliver the guest speaker's uh, speech, as Ms. Mihirini mentioned, we have uh, uh, someone with, uh, with great amount of experience and knowledge in this uh, particular field. Now, she is currently heading the Learning and Development Arm as uh, its manager at Alibaba Group's Venture Daraz in Sri Lanka. And with over four years of experience, she excels in product development, leadership and e-learning. So at Daraz, she pioneered targeting uh, uh, targeted training programs, integrating cutting edge e-learning technologies and implementing data analytic tools, resulting in significant productivity increase and improved ROI. Previously, she uh, served as a manager for seller training and development, focusing on onboarding SME sellers and optimizing partner journeys. And uh, she worked in several other companies over the years and uh, before coming into her position, her current position, that is manager learning and development at Daraz. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Jemi Rochelle Mudumani, our guest speaker for today's event. Thank you so much, uh, Oshida, for that uh, warm welcome. Am I audible to you guys? Yes. yes. Perfect. All right. Um, thank you so much for that warm welcome. Thanks, Mirini, for giving me this opportunity to um, tell everyone about why this PDP is very important. Uh, this PDP program is very important as well as um, also I wanted to talk a little bit about why it is in, uh, why English as professional and business for business and professional, why it is important as well. Um, to give a very brief, uh, I think Oshida had uh, told an elaborated form of me, but um, I am uh, Jebi Rochelle, so I am heading up as a learning and development manager for Daraz.lk uh, for the past two years and have been also uh, looking into so many factors of marketing and sales as well. Um, so to, to start off with, I just wanted to um, tell that uh, English is a language which we all are forced to learn because my mother tongue is not English. And I am sure um, at least 90 to 95% of the audience here today, the, your mother tongue is not going to be English. It could be either Tamil or Sinhala. But in this very moving country, um, I mean, um, in this world, which is very, very fast developing, uh, we are supposed to learn English and learning English on a basic level is not sufficient because that is definitely not going to help us in order to move on with our career, right? So um, when I started to learn English or when I started, because I come from a very orthodox Indian community. So when I started, so I speak Tamil at home and Malayalam at home. So I had no background of English, um, but I was able to school where I was able to uh, study in English from my uh, pre-grade itself because my parents actually thought that it was an international language which will be helpful for me in my future as well. So you can ask a question, right? 
to Oshida, to Mihirini, to myself, uh, telling JB, why do we need to uh, sign up or why, why, why should I follow this business and professional English program? I could just go to this general English classes, which is already there, and I would be able to, you know, I will get definitely a certificate and I will be good enough to learn and talk English in a basic level. And I think that's enough. Yes, no, can, maybe, hello, hi, that would be sufficient. But no, guys, business and professional English is very, very important in your day-to-day -day life as well as in your professional life. So I want to touch into five factors why you require this business and professional English and how it is going to help you in future as well. First thing I wanted to talk about is about the effective communication, right? So as Oshida mentioned as well, this program is definitely going to help you guys to improve your effective communication, which means whatever which you want to express to someone you are able to put it up in a very professional manner as well as in a manner where people will be able to understand for example uh, let's take about the personal life let's leave a, a little bit about the business and professional even if you're going to propose to a boy or even or even if you're going to propose to a girl you should be able to express right if you just go and tell her um i love you uh, definitely she'll be like you are being categorized into that unromantic zone right so how you are going to express that how you are going to communicate that is also an effective communication mode right so when talking about professionalism when you're heading up into a presentation could be probably you have to go in midst of your um uh, team and do a presentation and you know probably th there are a lot of uh, blunders which happened in the organizations because even the top management even who are heading up in uh, big positions sometimes they cannot effectively communicate they they will not be able to tell what they precisely want and are they ultimately the person who is selling the product or who is telling about the services probably he will be able to miscommunicate and put that into the customers in a very wrong way, right? And that has brought a lot of loss to the companies as well, a, a slight miscommunication, right? So by doing and or by following a business and professional English course, um, it is definitely going to help you to uh, teach or help you to effectively communicate on a day-to-day -day basis next i want to talk uh, touch a little bit about the career advancement as well because in this um, professional world proficiency in business english is enhancing in the career perspective a lot as well whether it could be writing very clear and persuasive emails delivering compelling presentations because <clears throat> When I went through the brochure of uh, this PDP program, I was really shocked because it had so many things which a lot of colleges do not teach these days, right? So, so when you generally take, if you, uh, when you were going to college, right? Um, I'm, I'm sure there are like, you know, school leavers as well over here and who are planning to start their college or who is planning to start their careers, who wants to join as interns to the organizations as well. So usually in colleges, when they are doing a presentation, they look into just two things mainly. One is your content and second thing is how you have dressed up and how you are, uh, you know, presenting yourself. But this presentation has so many things in it, like your vocal variety, your eye contact, your pronunciation, your vocabulary, your uh, tenses, whatever which you are using, how confident you, you are when you're doing a presentation. Because if you have seen, I don't know how many of you have, when you're doing a presentation, sometimes if it is guys, they have their hands inside the pocket, just like the photo in which I am posing right now, because that's just for a post, that's, 
that's okay but when you are doing a presentation that shows that they are very scared right secondly you know if it is girls we have this habit of making our hair always to see if we are okay even while we are talking so these kinds of things um, in this business and professional english course and in any business and english and professional course they actually help you to develop your personality as well by doing that you will have a career enhancement as well in that because you will be able to successfully talk negotiate have strong communication skills and also focus in advancing within an organization and securing new opportunities because it's a very very fast moving world right now which we are living if you do not perform very well you're being sent home there you you would have heard there are a lot of restructurals in organizations there's a lot of layoffs which is going in organization so how you are going to do your career advancement how you are going to improve in your career this business and professional english will definitely help you as well uh, the third thing which i wanted to talk about is about building relationships so this effective communication the first point which i told you guys and this building relationship as well it has an actually an interconnection guys because only if you effectively communicate with having strong communication skills you will be able to build and maintain relationships for example when you are um, when you are you have just joined as an executive in a company and your team lead is not there uh, tomorrow for a presentation or tomorrow to uh, hold a meeting if your manager comes and says um hi you are supposed to do this professional uh, you are supposed to do this presentation today uh, today since your team lead is not there how you are going to impress your manager and the audience and build a relationship is what you will have in your career advancement and in building relationship as well right so the next thing which i want to talk about is professionalism and also credibility as well so using correct grammar vocabulary tone and crafting and polished reports and participating in meeting or representing uh, oneself or the other as i said before replacing someone and doing a presentation or healing up or holding a meeting these all these things are going to help you to professionally go with a lot of credibility as well okay uh the last thing which i want to touch is about the career mobility because um usually this career mobility is something which a lot of people don't touch when they talk about how important this business and professional english is all about right so proficiency in business english this can definitely enhance your career mobility by opening up opportunities for international assignments as well right so this when you are doing so when you, probably they are they are because a lot of people are planning to migrate rather than living in sri lanka right now because of our economical instability uh, instability and our political uh, riots as well right so job placements in multinational companies or participating in global projects and initiatives this will be able for you guys when you all do Uh, programs or when you study in depth about business professional and english you guys will be able to understand about it and then you will be able to put it out as well right because english is a subject where you cannot just only learn um by you know uh, doing a book definitely it's not you you do a grammar book co1 co2 co3 until co50 um until uh, modules 50 and then you think that okay now i am very good in my english and i'm a very professional in english and i can do anything what i want in uh, business when it comes to making a presentation or doing a meeting if you have uh, thought so um, i think it's wrong because the professional english always uh you will be always able to develop it only by doing a lot of practical stuff as i said before like you know learning about 
presentations, your vocal varieties, your um, how do you stand when you go to a meeting? How do you stand? How do you talk? Um, how do you arrange meetings like, you know, uh, definitely, you know, when it comes to effective communication, when you're having a telephone call conversation, right? Rather than, you know, obviously when you're talking to your friend, you call a matcha, right? But when you're call, talking to your friend, you call matcha, you call dude and all these things. But when you're talking to um, a professional person, probably other person in the other side who is talking to you, if he's a very professional person, how are you going to greet and first start the conversation with you? Um, uh, the most important thing is when I usually uh, do these uh, presentations and stuff when I when I go to institutes and you know teach them how to do presentation and stuff. One thing which I found is when I ask what is your name, sometimes people be very scared to tell their name and you know to talk about themselves. I'm definitely I'm 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 not asking to talk about anything in general. I'm telling to talk about them because no one knows more than them right but it's very hard for them for for them to come out and talk uh, because they're very scared whether i will make a grammar mistake whether i will make um whether i will pronounce a word very uh, wrong whether i will pronounce a word wrongly right so to break all these things i'm sure that you know this course is definitely going to help and the business and professional english is something which going to help as well um, and also um, I'm sure that this course has a lot of business writing reports and email etiquette and how do you arrange uh, uh, meetings and how do you do conferences and all this stuff so for me personally um, I am a stammer um, stammer um, I uh, stammer whenever I'm talking um, I went through um, a lot of English programs like this uh, to improve my personality uh, and also to uh, learn about how this professional world works into. Um, by doing those things, I have been able to actually now I do not stammer. Most of the time I do not stammer. I'm very, very fluently and being able to talk uh, thanks to my mentors and thanks to um, the courses whichever I have followed as well. So I think this program is definitely a very, very beneficial one. And um, uh, as Mihirini said, there will be a lot of drawbacks. A um, lot of people would say, why are you going to this business and professional English? Just do it online. Just do a certificate online and get it done. But the practicality of that is uh, they will not understand because and the benefit out of doing this program or any kind of business and professional English program, a third party will third party will not understand unless they have gone through the program as well. So um, what I have to tell you guys last is that though there could be many drawbacks coming, you know, there'll be a lot of challenges uh, that you will not be able to follow this course, but um, talk to your um, developers who are there at slim and definitely they're very very friendly because um i am doing a few programs as well with them for my organization so uh, they have been cooperating really well with me so have a chat with them talk they are talk your challenges and um try to complete this course because this is something which is very very important and uh, you guys will be able to excel in your professional as well as in your personal personal life and your personality as well. Um, thank you, Mihirini, and thank you, Oshada. I think uh, if there is any questions from the audience, um, they can shoot out to me, I think, via chat. Uh, definitely, have. the option is there. If uh, you have any questions to ask from our guest, now is the time you can uh, put those questions in the uh, chat box. Yeah, looks like we don't have any questions. So uh, 
Yeah, uh, thank you, uh, Ms. Jebby Rochelle, for joining with us and for sharing all that information, all your experience and knowledge with our participants. Today. I'm sure they found it very fruitful and uh, wish you all the very best for your future as well. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks. Right, so moving on with the proceedings, ladies and gentlemen, we, next up we have uh, the lecturer's message coming up. And in order to deliver the lecturer's message, we have one of our lecturers from Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing who is actively engaged in uh, the uh, BPE program or the Business and Professional English program. Now, she is a, a versatile HR professional with extensive experience spanning over 12 years and with backgrounds in law, uh, psychology and counselling, she excels in teaching, lecturing and corporate training across various disciplines, including law, HR, negotiating skills and customer services. Currently serving as an AGM HR in a reputable, a reputable organization, she also actively involved in professional associations like the Bar Association and Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing as one of our lecturers. So ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Ms. Shanika Pereira Fonseca, lecturer, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. Hi, everyone. Uh, can you all see the screen that I'm sharing? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Uh, thank you very much for that confirmation. And I'm so sorry uh, for this delay. Uh, uh, it's always the case when we deal with technical gadgets. This is all tested and everything also. All right, so we'll, um, well, warm welcome to all of you uh, to the journey of business and professional English with uh, uh, Slim. And uh, let me take you quickly through the small presentation that I have for you as one of the lecturers who will be conducting lectures uh, for you uh, in the course of this program. So let me start with this thought. Every accomplishment starts with the decision to try. So congratulations, everyone, those of you who have joined this forum and so many more to join. Uh, you have already made the decision to pursue higher studies or sharpen up on the skills that you already have to emerge as better personalities in the corporate world to climb the career ladder faster. So with that note, let me quickly move on. As I move on, if you cannot see the presentation or if you cannot hear me, please uh, let me know. I hope the presentation and the gadgets would support us. All right, so uh, why do we need uh, to be fluent in English? Uh, I was listening to um, the, the speech of the guest lecturer, which was quite comprehensive and filled with information and a lot of insights. So here we go. I too have a few insights to share. Uh, I'll be quick on it because we have already touched upon a few of these uh, in the guest lecturer speech as well. So um, all of us know that in English is an international common tongue today, and um, it's very important for us to be fluent in this uh, language, uh, for us to thrive in the corporate world today more than ever before. And uh, uh, hi all, uh, can you all see the presentation full screen? I, I am sharing it full screen. Um, if there's not any full screen. Not full screen, is it? Give me a second. Yeah. Let's see. Does it come on full screen now? Not yet. Uh, no, not but yet. that's okay. If it's a technical yes. issue, yeah, that's okay. Yeah. Let's move on this way uh, for now to save time. I'm sorry about it because it's it shows that I'm on full screen in this uh, application. Uh, to save time, I'm moving on this way. I hope you can see the content that I'm sharing anyway. More than the content that I'm sharing, I'll be elaborating on what I um, am sharing. So I hope you'll be able to gather uh, by listening to me as well. All right, so uh, it's essential if you want to work in international business or commerce, which all of us do today, whether we are into government sector, private sector, whatever it is, or an MNC, a multinational organization, uh, um, still we deal with the, the international arena and we need to project a proper personality as very well uh, elaborated uh, by the guest lecturer or the guest speaker of the forum today and it's the language of academia and um, this you must be experiencing already those who are after ales and those who are professionals already those who are pursuing higher studies you certainly need to be fluent in this language because whatever higher studies that we take up 
um, come in this language and uh, if we are good in this language we can keep on learning more and more and developing our profile as well it gives you access to a wealth of written media online and printed most of the uh, the and the info that we read today especially in the corporate world in in business contexts all that comes in this language so these are some additional advantages that you would experience uh, as a fluent speaker uh, as somebody who's fluent in the language uh, and all of you have taken the decision to follow this program and be more fluent or rather sharpen up on what you already know what you already have within you so these advantages you will experience in time to come it comes in handy when traveling yes of course traveling is a hobby for some of us and uh, traveling is an essential part of our uh, jobs for some of us uh, it, whether we travel on personal context or professional context it's going to be really helpful to all of us if we are fluent in this language because this is the lang link language that would connect us with a lot of other nations uh, wherever we travel to get what we want done, especially when it comes to business contacts, for us to fulfill our mission, to achieve the objectives of our tour. It's very important for us to uh, handle the language and build up the rapport with those who are dealing with. It boosts your personality and offers you more development opportunities. Um, this is also very well elaborated by the guest speaker today. Uh, it adds a lot of glamour to your personality. We don't mean to say that just by uh, speaking English fluently, it, it just boosts your personality, but it's going to certainly boost your personality in a big way, in addition to all the job skills that you have. So uh, but sometimes uh, as an HR professional, I also come across certain professionals who are really good in their job, excellent in whatever they're doing and quite qualified in uh, whatever chosen area they're engaged in. But when it comes to expressing themselves, when it comes to voicing out their concern, when it comes to presenting something to an audience, uh, they, 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 are, they don't thrive as well as when they're uh, individually engaged in their job. That's because they lack this communication skills. Uh, we've been discussing the importance of communication. Uh, it is said that communication is the fuel, sorry, the, is the engine that fuels the workplace effectiveness. So if you all are effective communicators, definitely you're going to fuel the workplace engine big time and give rewards, give back the, the ROI to the company by you being engaged in uh, different projects. And this will boost your personality as well. You yourself will feel good when you know that you can handle any kind of customer, any kind of client, any kind of corporate or any institute that you're dealing with. So for us to build up this uh, uh, confidence levels, I'm sure this program is going to help you big time. And that's a promise from my end as uh, a visiting lecturer of SLIM as well for all on behalf of all the other lecturers as well. It's essential for us to depict the true identity of Sri Lankans to the world. Yes, now more than ever before, I would say. Uh, we've got to do a lot, right? Whether we are here, whether we are elsewhere in the world, as Sri Lankans, we need to really boost the personality of our motherland big time in the international arena more than ever before, because we've we are a nation who have had a very good name in the international arena in certain areas and due to certain instances, uh, incidents and uh, um, mishaps, I would say, uh, uh, the, the, the identity of Sri Lankans is challenged to an extent. So let's do it, everybody, as uh, professionals. Let's take the name of our country to the international arena. Let the world watch in awe, you know, let, let them be all inspired by what you're doing, but uh, by the contributions that you're making, by the way you're communicating, let them feel the, you know, the, the glamour and uh, the, the taste of the Sri Lankans as well. All right, moving on to the objectives uh, of the program quickly. Uh, this program will be conducted over a period of uh, 12 weeks. That will be 48 hours. And uh, our aim is to equip you uh, with uh, these skills uh, socialize and network with greater confidence 
work successfully in a cross-cultural environment, yes, once you're thorough with this language, you'll be uh, more confident to deal with any kind of person, any caliber of person, and uh, in that way you'll thrive better at what you're doing. Expand their uh, professional vocabulary, of course, yes, we'll be paying special attention to your vocabulary as well as we go on with lectures. And improve uh, your understanding of uh, grammar. Definitely, there will be dedicated grammar lessons for, for you to sharpen up on what you already know. I'm sure all of us uh, here in this forum would have gone through the basic grammar lessons uh, in school, after school, in during uh, while following different courses and different programs. But let this program be um, a, a sharpener for, for all what you know, once again, not just another English course that you're following, but uh, in a more professional context to groom you, to sharpen you uh, better, to take up better and higher responsibilities as uh, well-groomed professionals. Handle written communications more professionally, uh, because, uh, I mean, written communication is uh, equally important as uh, verbal communication that we do, because uh, sometimes we don't uh, pay enough attention to what we write. Uh, but as we move on in lectures, we will learn that people will still hear your tone through the writing that you send to somebody else as well. Sometimes we feel that they don't hear our tone, that they don't realize our mood. No, they do. So uh, let's do a bit of sharpening up on what we are writing as we move on in this program as well. Express themselves in English with great fluency, accuracy, and confidence. Uh, this is what we've been talking about throughout from the beginning up to this moment. So uh, this is a promise from my end, uh, from the end of SLIM and from the end of lecturers, all of us. We will definitely give you a helping hand, lend a helping hand to all of you to sharpen up on the fluency and the accuracy more and more than anything else, the confidence levels that you already have within you. Handle yourselves in English in a variety of versus contexts. Those of you who are professionals already must be in different contexts where you, you know, handle different uh, situations uh, using this language. So let this program be uh, a support uh, for you to go that extra mile to you know showcase your talents your abilities your personality so the key focus areas of this program would be of uh, speaking grammar and uh, professional writing we will be paying special attention to your speaking uh, uh, skills in this program because this program is uh, to groom you professionally to face professional contacts. Maybe you're already in the, the, the corporate world, maybe you're about to enter the corporate world, maybe you come from different backgrounds. Whatever said and done, uh, the, the end result would be that you would thrive in the corporate world once you take up responsibilities in different positions. So for that, this program will definitely give you a good booster. But we also need a few things from your end back product. I would talk about in just a while. So the methodology, a quick one on this, everyone, when it comes to a language, we always talk about uh, reading, writing, speaking, and listening skills. So this program will surely focus on all these four skills and uh, uh, I mean, a bit of activities on role plays, discussion points, and you know other interactive sessions that are coming up in the program, as well as a very special attention to public speaking and presentation skills. Uh, I have been listening to the guest speaker this morning. She's been talking very much about uh, how you should project yourself as a professional when it comes to doing presentations and when it comes to speaking to audiences. Yes, and as uh, she was telling, uh, there are a few aspects that we need to focus on when it comes to doing presentations or doing public speaking. Uh, it's not just about words that we speak. Yes, of course, words that we speak carry a lot of weight. But in addition to that, the tone of voice as well as your body language. We need to pay attention to all these three aspects if you're going to make a comprehensive presentation and also project a good image of yours. 
So we will be definitely focusing on all these areas as we go on with different kinds of activities um, in the program. So a quick one of uh, the course outline, uh, I, I thought of not uh, listing down all the the headings of all the units, because as we go on with the lectures, you will definitely see the uh, headings, but they will always be focusing on uh, the corporate world context, and there will be eight units that we will be focusing on, and uh, all eight units would be focusing on uh, the corporate world context. All right, so what is expected from you, everyone, for us to deliver this from uh, the end of the institute, from our end as uh, lecturers? We don't expect much. It's just this. We need your regular attendance because as I um, explained to you earlier, we only have 12 weeks to go. It's not a very long program, right? It's uh, actually a, I mean, comparatively a short program, but that, a uh, number of uh, lecture, lectures would be more than enough if we uh, give that commitment from our end as well. From the, the end of lecturers, we give off, we, we promise that we would give our fullest commitment to groom you in the best possible manner uh, by the end of this program. But for, for us to achieve, for us to reap the best benefits of the program, we would want your commitment from your end as well. So let's be regular in attendance. Maybe there are, you know, sometimes uh, unavoidable personal commitments, professional commitments. In such cases, it is quite understood, but with, with some, you know, prior information about your commitment to the lecturer as well as the institute, your absence will be permitted, but then we would be very strict on your attendance, knowing that you're professionals, knowing that you're not just students, knowing what a lot of commitments that you have. We still harp on your attendance because it's very important that you take part in different activities that, uh, you know, take place during lectures. And also your punctuality is also going to be really helpful because uh, if you uh, attend the lecture late and uh, exit the lecture, you know, early, you might miss a good part of what you could have gained. Unless there's a professional commitment that you need to really attend to. And if, unless you do it with prior permission, uh, we would really encourage all of you to attend the lectures, whether physical, whether online, whether you attend lectures online or on site. Uh, let your punctuality be, uh, you know, number one uh, and also attendance. Interact, join discussions. Once again, whether you uh, join lectures uh, online or on site. Let's interact as much as possible. Now, some of us who would, uh, you know, select the stream of online lectures, we do it with a purpose. All right. So let's not uh, make it a point to uh, excuse ourselves to, you know, switch off the mic and engage in something else where, uh, I mean, uh, while the lectures are progressing because we are losing a good part of what we could have gained, uh, I mean, by interacting properly and by taking part in the lecture uh, to the fullest. So whether you attend the lecture online or on site, let's be totally attentive. Let's interact as much as possible because that way we would reap better benefits. And uh, let's set goals for ourselves. As I said, we're gonna have 12 lectures, uh, for 12 for our lectures. And uh, if we set goals for ourselves at the very beginning, I'm sure we will all be able to definitely achieve the set goals for ourselves and also map our progress. So this is a kind invitation from our end. You're the best judge of your standard. So just judge where you stand today when it comes to a presentation, when it comes to a writing task. As a professional, where would you stand? Just uh, judge yourself and you promise yourself where you would like to see yourself by the end of this program. So that way we will be able to map our progress. And as uh, lecturers, we also would be able to help you better in achieving your set goals. So this is exactly why we ask you to set goals. People with goals succeed because they know where they are going. So let's know where we are going and go on this journey, sharpening up our skills. So in summing up everybody, so this is all what we need from your end, right attitude, enthusiasm and determination to achieve the set goals. So 
So let's take part in all 12 lectures with the right attitude, with the fullest enthusiasm, and the, with the best determination that we can muster so that we will reap the best benefits out of this program. So let me wind up with this thought by Michael Jordan. Obstacles don't have to stop you. If you run into a wall, don't turn around and give up. Figure out how to climb it, go through it, or walk around it. See now, if we come across any obstacles, the good news is we have three options according to Michael Jordan, or maybe if you look around, you'll find more than three options to overcome obstacles that you come across your way. So as we progress in this journey, we too will come across a lot of personal commitments, professional commitments, uh, um, those are joining online as I experienced just a while ago, um, some you know technical difficulties, but let's not give up in uh, you know face of any of these obstacles. Let's find a way out of these obstacles to somehow achieve the set goals for ourselves. So with that thought, um, let me wind up everybody. Thank you um, and good luck everyone. Hope to see you all soon. Thank you, uh, Mrs. Shanika Fonseca for joining with us and for sharing all that information with our participants. And uh, yeah, thank you once again. Right, so moving on, ladies and gentlemen, next up we have uh, the program brief coming up and uh, uh, Ms. Umesha Bogapitiya, Junior Executive at Sri Lanka, Bus uh, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing Business School or the Slim Business School is ready to share uh, the insights about this particular program that is a business and professional English program or the BPE program. So uh, Ms. Umesha, now is your time. Thank you, Oshida. Uh, let me share my screen. Uh, hope you can see my screen, right? Yes, yes, we can see the screen. Okay, uh, thank you and uh, good morning, uh, dear students. Uh, on behalf of Slim Business School, I would like to warmly welcome you for the inauguration of BPE 124. I'm Umesha Bogha the program coordinator of PP program. And uh, here I would like to take you through some important details about the BP program. So as you can see, uh, this presentation includes the important outcomes such as uh, introduction, program components, program outline, evaluation and delivery. So as the first point, the target audience for this program is slim students to further enhance themselves as marketing professionals and all the other professionals. So this program will be conducted uh, for a period of three months and uh, it will aim to provide competencies in the areas of writing, speaking and listening skills. According to that, the program objectives will be develop oral and written language skills in business context, expand vocabulary related to general business situations, communicate confidently and effectively in business context, and recognize the features of different language styles used in business correspondence, such as memos, emails, business letters, and reports. So the program content will be essential English grammar, writing in the business world, effective presentation skills, and effective telephone skills. So, Program components will be the workbook as well as the classroom activities. In classroom activities, there are many group activities, role plays in this workbook. For the online classes, uh, Mishanika will be doing great lectures uh, and interactive sessions for you all. And also we have uh, audio clips and video clips related to each module. So those uh, will be very helpful for you all. And uh, this is the workbook for BPE, and this will carry all the modules you will learn in this program. And uh, you will be received this at the registration point once you completed the document submission. Moving forward to the program outline. So in this program, it includes eight modules. Uh, first module will be saying hello and introduction. Second module is socializing. Third module is telephoning. Fourth module is exchanging information. Fifth module module is arranging meetings. Seventh mod, uh, sixth mod, uh, sorry, 
The sixth module is presentations. Seventh module is business letters and the eighth module will be report writing. So the when we come to the evaluation method, there are two evaluation method uh, methods written and oral. So first you have your oral examination in here. You have to do a presentation by your own. After that, once you have successfully done the oral examination, you will be eligible for the written exam. It's a two hour paper. So uh, students have who have done the oral exam will only be eligible for this written exam. And most importantly, the attendance will be highly monitoring. All participants uh, must maintain attendance above uh, 85%. So this will be added to your final exam marks. And the delivery, delivery will be done by three steps, uh, registration, coaching and communication. When we come to the registration part, uh, once you are registered in BPE program, you will need to submit us a copy of NIC and a stamp size photograph. All the uh, registered students are informed to submit these documents to the LMS. Let me quickly guide you on that. So this is the interfa interface of our LMS, Slim LMS, and you have to log in to this uh, first you first once uh, we provide you all the usernames and passwords. Once you log in, you will see your intake as BPE intake 124, and uh, you need to uh, Click on view intake. Then you may direct to this interface and there you need to find intake documentation. Then you can see the required documents and you may upload them respectively. The documents uh, that you upload will be verified by the backend and a detailed guideline on the usage of LMS will be provided with the login credentials in due course. So the classes will be commenced from 3rd, 3rd March and I will share the class schedules within next week. So there are two parallel batches online and on site. On site batch will be conducted on Sundays from 9 a.m. to 1 p.m. at Slim Business School. And the online batch will be conducted on Sundays from 2 p.m. to 6 p.m. via MS Teams. And communication, uh, STEM will communicate with students mostly via email and students are re requested to provide an accessible email address and check your emails on regular basis. Students can contact SLIM for any inquiry regarding the program. So if you have registered in the Colombo, you may email to umesha.b at slim.lk and you may contact me via nod 70191-8078. Students who have registered in Candy SBS may contact Ms. Malisha and students who have registered in Mathura SBS may contact Mr. Lahiru. So finally, uh, students, I wish you all the best in your future studies and thank you very much and have a nice day. Thank you, uh, Ms. Umesha, for providing all that necessary information for our participants to kickstart this uh, BPE program or the Business and Professional English program. So with that, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we would like to uh, conclude today's session. So first of all, I would like to uh, thank uh, uh, Ms. Jebby Rochelle for joining with us for this program. And of course, uh, Mrs. Shanika uh, Fonseca and Ms. Mihirini Fonseca and of course, uh, uh, Ms. Umesh Abogapit here as well for joining with us. Uh, and for sharing all that information with our participants. And we hope to see each and every one of you as students of uh, Sri Lanka Institute of Marketing. And we wish you all the very best for your future endeavors as well. So thank you, ladies and gentlemen, and have a good day. Have a good weekend.